Slow in motion first before we move on. Anybody have any special requests for any part of your body that not cooperating today? <laughs> Neck? Lower back. Neck Lower back. Head. Head. We all have had issues. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just rule that out, make it quick. Any mental issues here? <laughs> all right. The neck, as you know, when we work the body completely, uh, head to toes, like that spine uh, picture is, because all connected. If you are stiff with your neck, a lot of time it could be from your entire spine. And you may rush to the chiropractor. Yes, it helped feel good for an hour or two, but if your entire body is so tight, the adjustment doesn't last long. So it's your job also to take care of maintenance regularly, and you go for the adjustment or for a massage or something, it will last longer. Um, so feet together. And when you feel good, you'll be a lot nicer to be around. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Take a deep breath, just roll your weight to the ball of your foot. And roll back. Just bring your feet a bit out a little bit. Take a deep breath. Calm your mind, calm your body. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's raise the heel a little bit more and come down slowly. One more. A little bit higher if you can. If not, stay at your comfort level. To stay there longer a little bit. And we're talking about nine energy gates, right? Now that's the, the number nine or number one, whatever you want to look at. We start from the bottom. Go higher and pause this five seconds. other Qigong I learned two years ago I don't practice a lot I'm bringing it back a little bit from Master Robert Peck tendon connected tissue and at the same time affecting your lung and big intestine he incorporate more with the reverse breathing but it can be challenging we just do normal right now pause forward and push and raise your back heel up. Come back, raise your toes. This is more Qigong, it's not Tai Chi. Tai Chi is always keep everything grounded. Qigong, you work a little bit different. You engage toes, foot, ankle, calves, arms, wrists, fingers. But if people say, I want Tai Chi, tell them this is Tai Chi. That's fine. <laughs> One more. Good. This time, when you push forward, step forward. Raise the back heel. And in addition to stretching the tendon connected tissue, your joint, you learn how to stabilize your balance. Remember the first few classes, you know, a little bit more wobble. Now you're all rooted. Not rooted, rooted. <laughs> Lift up, point your 
toe, palm facing up, sitting down. Feel everything stretching up. Breathe in. Does this help your balance? Yes, because you learn how to shift your weight. Not focus on try to follow him, rather than think about the positive side. Two. And last one. Step back. Step out to the other foot. Sink down. Notice when you're sinking down, what are you engaging? Your knees, your hip. When you're going up, you're balancing. Arm, all the fascia. Two, one. Good. Step back. One thing. Uh, let's do the whole step here. Put your hands on your hip. Uh, let's start with the uh, the left hand, my right. We're going to do still grilling. Sit really help promote calmness and also open your shoulder joint and your body. So just move your elbow out, palm reach, turn palm center, collecting and releasing. And let your elbow out, palm softly release. Breathe in. This one of the uh, Tai Chi um, warm up exercise called silk grilling. And gradually you become doing a cloud hand. Breathe in and breathe out. It doesn't matter which way you breathe in and breathe out. Just keep breathing, it's more important. And now the next three, I want you to notice, observe what's moving in your body. Two more. Do it slower. Turn the palm to your hip. Does that work your shoulder or what? Yeah. Take a deep breath. Palm facing down, elbow out, palm out, gather. So it's not just move the arm, watch the hand movement. Palm facing up. As you come back, palm facing down. And now palm reaching out, palm drop down. And release. But this movement here is moving all the tendon connected tissues. It's not just the arm, the hand, your fingers, your focus. Breathe in. I think the newest person in the group today is Mary, is right? Mary, you've been here a couple months? Yes. How are you doing so far? Good. Okay. Two. And last one. Now I would invite you to bring your left hand to meet together and turn your palm facing out. And push it on purpose so you're stretching your wrist, but at the same time relax your shoulder. Shift your weight side to side, sink down a little bit, breathe in, and breathe out. Just like you're pushing water, you're playing the ocean, moving perhaps seaweeds in the water. Be playful. Breathe in and breathe out. Now let's get lower. She wait, come back up, lower and rise, lower and rise. So let's switch. Lower on the right and rise on the left. Two. 
two. Now you engage more hip, low extremity muscle, but at the same time coordinate the left and right. Now let's move up and down. Two, one, reverse. One more. Stand soft, tuck your tailbone down, head on top, just like she got. Relax your shoulders. And stay here with three deep breaths. Cleansing. slow, soften your knee, you're going to step to your left and raise your arm up as your knee and shift your weight to your left, the right hand come under and then foot follow and sink down a little bit more, it's easier to empty your right foot, step to the corner, separate the hand, yin yang. So that's number four, we count down. Walk the ball to your right, step out to your left, separating yin and yang. Two more. Remember when you step forward, if you bring the toe in, lift the toe up. See number four now? Good. Rock back. Form the ball first and rotate the ball. Rock forward. Bring your foot in. Step out. Top hand brush the knee and the left hand set chi. Form the ball. One more. So now, so far we walk forward, we're now going to walk backward. It might be confusing for some of you, right foot in. Slow down, you need to shift your weight back first, and then step. One last one, step a little bit wider as you could, because we're going to do the squatting, gather heaven and earth. Do two times. Sink down, gather the earth. Reaching up to the sky, heaven. Merging between your spirit, love, compassion, and all the energy source. Sink down a little bit more. Three more breaths. Think about you sitting on a beautiful couch right now. Can you see my grin? <laughs> and I just slightly come up, not all the way, just how you're incrementally going down. Three breaths. This helps strengthen your core, strengthen your focus. up a little bit more, not all the way.
arms down, push it all out and stay here for three breaths. Bring to the back, press on your kidney, stay here for three breaths. Massage your kidney at the same time. Push it out to the side. Three breath. And bring it up. Look up. Three breath. And slowly bring to your lower duct and face the earth. Three breaths. 